Hey beauties. So today I needed to talk to you guys about something really important and that's your neck. Whenever I'm doing a makeup video, you'll start to notice I mention all the time, you know, you need to take it down for your foundation, your concealer, your contour, whatever you're doing on your face should also be coming down your neck. You're also be coming down to your neck and your, and I'm probably gonna butcher this, I literally had to Google the pr proper pronunciation here, but the décolletage, décolletage? It's a French word, I'm, I'm sorry. If I'm butchering it, I probably am. Um, but really that chest area, right? So anything you do with your makeup, you wanna make sure that you're taking it all the way down. But that also goes for your skincare. So I really wanted to focus on the neck today because it really is an important part of, again, not only your skincare, but your makeup routine. Um, and it's most often the neglected as well. So the skin on your neck and your decolletage, I'm gonna keep saying it like that. I just, I don't know. Um, but, but this entire area here, right? It is different from the rest of your skin. And that's because it's thinner. So the skin is actually more susceptible to fine lines and wrinkles. And because it's neglected for the most part, um, people tend to forget to put you know, SPF on. And so it ends up being more prone to sun damage as well, which also can lead to the creeping texture of skin. So I'm sure you've all seen somebody where they have you know, a disconnect where they've been taking care of their face, they use their face creams, you know, and, and, and their serums and everything all the time, but they don't take it down. And so you look at them and you can see the disparity between the two. Um, like, I'm, like I said, you know, your, your neck, it needs the love too, you know, it, it is going through a lot. And again, the skin is thinner, so it's a little bit more susceptible to wrinkling. In today's day and age, and it's my biggest problem too, when we have our phones and technology, you spend a lot of time with your head angled down, which is causing additional wrinkling on your neck. And so you really want to avoid allowing those to kind of stick around. And as you can see, I have not been taking care of mine up until recently. So, you know, work in progress. Um, the other thing again is, is sun damage. You know, there's a lot, a lot that goes on here and a lot of attention that this area gets. And you really wanna make sure that you're taking care of it. Um, so that's what we're talking about today. Taking care of the neck and taking it down, taking those products down. You know, what's really crazy is I came across a, a statistic fairly recently, which actually kind of inspired me to talk about this. Um, and it was an older statistic, so I don't know if there's a more, more um, current number that may be higher or lower, um, but it had said that 67% of women don't take care of their necks. They don't use neck creams. They don't put any skincare on their necks. It's a lot of people. And it shouldn't be something that is specific to age because I remember having conversations with friends and then saying, you know, oh, I'm not that old yet. I don't need to worry about it. It's one of those things where you wanna start young and you wanna take care of it young so that you're, you're able to prevent the damage before it happens. Um, so what I really wanted to focus on were really the key ingredients that you wanna look for in your skincare. It can be as simple as taking whatever you're putting on your face and just making sure to massage and apply to again your neck and the chest area. Um, it really can be that simple, but you do want to make sure that you're picking products that have the right ingredients because the concerns that you have with the neck are slightly different than those that you have with the face. So you just want to make sure that you're not just throwing on things that aren't going to impact the skin here. Now, the other thing I wanted to note before I even get into those ingredients is neck creams are convenient. They are nice because they have most of those targeted ingredients already in them. You can really just grab and go, but you don't need them. You really don't. And especially with the price tag on some of them, they're not necessarily all that great because <laughs> you can get the same effect by using products that you may already have in your bathroom and just again, taking them down. And so that's what I wanna focus on, um, is what those ingredients are, what you're looking for. And I actually do have a few creams that I do try to um, use more than others on my neck. So I will talk about those, and some of them are neck creams. But again, you do not need them as long as you're using the right ingredients. So the very first thing, and I have said this before in other videos, I'm sure, and I'm, I'll say it again and again and again because it's so important, but you definitely, definitely, definitely 
need to have SPF everywhere, not just the face, but all the way down to the neck. And again, this should primarily be 50, SPF 50 or higher. Um, 50 is where you want to sit though. And again, every day, doesn't, does not matter if you're, if it's cloudy out, doesn't matter if you're even going to be outside, you can still get sun damage through windows. You can get sun damage from looking at screens. So make sure to not forget your SPF and always take it down. I'm going to say that a lot. I'm going to say that a lot, but it's so important. Make sure it's getting all over the neck and chest as well. All over. Um, next ingredient that you want to focus on is retinols. Um, I feel like that's kind of an obvious one. Retinols are a great way to really boost collagen production and, and improve your overall tone. So they're super beneficial in general. So that's an easy one. Most people probably have a retinol product somewhere in their, in their bathroom already that they use on their face. So an easy one, just again, take it down and continue into the, the neck and your chest. The next thing is hyaluronic acid. One of my favorites, hyaluronic acid, it, it's basically a hydrator. It helps to plump the skin and hydrate the skin. So when you have an area that is thinner, it tends to dry out more quickly. So you want to make sure that you are hydrating it to again, avoid the drying, which and then, which in turn leads to more fine lines and wrinkles and that creepy texture, right? So it, it's a combination of all of these things, but SPF, retinol, hyaluronic acid. The next thing is something with like a ceramide or a peptide, but ingredients that are intended to lock in the moisture, right? The hyaluronic acid adds the moisture in, but you still need something to help keep it there longer so that it's not, you know, immediately dissipating and going away and, and kind of losing its effect. Um, so something that has peptides or ceramides, also, also a key ingredient. Um, vitamin C, I'm sure everyone's heard that too, and that's a more common one as well, so you probably have a vitamin C product in your bathroom. Uh, but again, vitamin C, and that is for pigmentation more than anything, but vitamin C is just a great booster in general for your skin. So start to finish, you know, you want SPF, you want retinol, you want hyaluronic acid, you want ceramides, peptides, vitamin C. All great ingredients. There are so many other skincare ingredients that are still beneficial at the end of the day, but these are really the primary ones that you want to focus on when you're thinking about what products basically you're going to put on your neck. There are neck creams, and I will talk about a few, that are beneficial and can help you do this, but you do not need them. Really at the end of the day, the point is that you need products that are going to protect, that are going to hydrate, that are going to stimulate your collagen production, things that will basically help with the elasticity of your skin. And you can do that with your existing skincare products as long as they have the right ingredients. So again, that is the primary focus here that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, but again, I did want to talk about a few products that I typically gravitate towards. The first one I want to talk about is actually a face and neck cream. So it's intended for, for everywhere. Um, and it's actually the most affordable out of all of the ones I'm going to show you. So I'm going to kind of work my way up, like cheapest to the most expensive. Um, so the first one is by Simplified Skin and it is a retinol moisturizer cream. It does have more than just retinol in it, but obviously retinol is one of our key ingredients, um, but it also has jojoba oil, it has vitamin E, it has vitamin B, it has hyaluronic acid, another one of our key ingredients. Uh, it has green tea, which is really great for nourishing and calming the skin. Good ingredients, it doesn't have them all, but obviously I can add in an SPF, I can add in something with pair, uh, peptides or ceramides, I literally almost just mix those two words together. Um, and I can add in, you know, a, a vitamin C serum as well. Um, but this is one I really love and it's right now at least $15 for the, what is this? 1.7 fluid ounce jar, super affordable. Um, normally it is close to like 20, $21, uh, but it's still pretty darn affordable considering the size. Um, and it a little goes a long way. It's actually a really thick cream. So I love, love, love that. Um, and again, you, it's, it's intended for the entire area. So it's, it's meant to go everywhere. Um, so I use this most nights. Now, the next one I want to talk about, again, I'm working my way up by price, um, is the Youth Skincare Neck Firming Cream. 
this one has a lot of the key ingredients. So it actually has um, green tea in it too, which I talked about, good for calming, good for nourishing, but it has peptides that obviously can help with locking in moisture and also help with collagen production. It also has vitamin C as well. And it has glycerin, which is intended to prevent moisture loss. So it has, again, something that helps with the locking in moisture. It has the vitamin C, it has my peptides. So you have a good balance here with this cream. And this one I get for like $25 on Amazon. Still super affordable. Um, and, it, it's a, and it is a two fluid ounce jar. Same concept, a little goes a long way. This one, it, it, it's, it's technically a neck cream. It's supposed to help with the elasticity and really firming up the skin, um, but you can technically put it on your face too if you wanted to. Um, I don't personally, um, but again, most of these products are universal, right? You can kind of use them in multiple ways. The next one is the City Beauty Multi-Action Sculpting Cream. This one is um, $49, so around $50, $50 for a 1.7-ish fluid ounce jar. So about the same size as that first retinol. Um, and so this one comes with, this one's main intention really is to rejuvenate the skin and ha um, basically boost collagen production as well. This one actually, the primary ingredients in it are something called acacia bipolymer, which is really supposed to help tighten the surface of the skin. Sculpting, tightening, right? The other one is biomimetic tripeptide. So it has this tripeptide complex in it that is supposed to firm the appearance of the skin and like reduce the look of wrinkles and that kind of a thing. Um, and then the other kind of big ingredient is firming peptides that basically are supposed to make the skin more supple and you know springy the more bounce to it adds the moisture now peptides are a big part of the um, breakdown of the ingredients in this specific neck cream so it's locking in moisture it's firming it's tightening it's kind of doing all of that great stuff and again the collagen production boosting and you know it also has like green tea so again that calming and there's a lot of good stuff in this one too. Um, again, $50, but the cool thing about this specific cream is that it is paraben free, it is sulfate free, it is basically like free of everything <laughs> that is bad for your skin. Um, because obviously there are some products that have those types of ingredients and even though they do have beneficial active ingredients, they still have the not so great stuff. Um, so this one doesn't at all, none of that bad stuff. Um, so that's why this one is pretty darn cool. They're all amazing. Again, I have a few that I love and I use. Um, but the very last one that I use is actually not intended for the face. It is technically supposed to be more of a body product. So this one is the Rodan and Fields Active Hydration line. Um, so this is the Body Replenish. Um, I typically use this more than anything on my neck um, just because I put it on my entire body. Um, it really is an active hydrator. <laughs> um, the focus of this is really, again, active hydration, right? So it is a lot of glycerin. And again, that helps to prevent the moisture loss, so locking in the moisture. And then it, all, and it has um, hyaluronic acid as well. So it gives you the hydration and then locks it in. Great, great, great product in general, just for the entire body. Um, but it is one that I do love to add when I'm starting to notice um, a little bit more drying or more lines just in general on my neck because um, obviously it does help plump up the skin a little bit as well. Um, so again, those are the four that I typically utilize on the neck. But again, every everything I put on my face, aside from eye cream, always goes down my neck, all of it. Um, so you can do that too. And again, we talked about those primary ingredients that you wanna look for and focus on. So, you know, SPF, always, 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 SPF of 50 or more. Hyaluronic acid, ceramides, peptides, retinol, vitamin C. Um, and most of these creams that I've talked about have some of those, a combination of them. Um, but for the most part, you are going to want to mix multiple products. I mean, I, if you guys have, let me know if you found a good, a good cream that has everything in it, let me know. <laughs> but for the most part, you kind of do have to 
to meal piece together a few different things to, to cover all your bases, but do cover all your bases. Don't wait, don't overlook it. Stop forgetting about your neck and just keep on taking it down. Take it all down because this is one of the most important parts of your body. Face is the first thing people see and what is right below that, right? And you want there to be, you want consistency. You don't want that kind of disparity between the two where you're noticing more aging and, you know, uneven texture and discoloration down here, but the face looks healthy, right? So take it down, check out the products I talked about. Um, I, I'm gonna link them in this video, but again, you do not need them if you have the ingredients in your normal skincare already. And if you don't, go on and get, get some. There are a lot of really affordable brands that you can get, you know, drugstore brands, things from Sephora like the Inky List or um, the Ordinary, you know, the DCM brand line in general. Very affordable. And they have a lot of these ingredients already in, you know, serums and, and moisturizers, it's super easily accessible. So if you're missing one or two of those things that I've mentioned, Go out and get them. They should be on your a part of your skincare routine anyways, you know? So just, then you can continue and take them down the neck. Um, and for SPF, again, just get one that is 50 or more. Wh whichever one you want is entirely up to you. But I will say my absolute favorite um, is the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. Absolute favorite. Um, I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, literally put that on every day. So. Check that out as well. I will link everything that I talked about again in this video. If you have questions about your neck, like I said, let me know. And if you have products that you love, again, they don't have to be specifically for the neck or the chest area, right? The decolletage. But if you have products that you love, love, love that have the ingredients that we talked about, let me know, tag them below. I would love to check them out. Um, but thanks for tuning in. And if you guys have questions about anything skincare, makeup related, feel free to reach out. I love doing these types of videos. So I'm happy to do more. Just tell me what you guys want to see. And I hope you all have a great week. Thanks. Bye.